We are here at the Automatic Affair in Munich, and uh, we are at the booth of uh, ABB. With me, I have Stefan Drockenshow, uh, VP Marketing and Sales General Industries at uh, ABB Robotics. Stefan, thanks for having some time for us. Uh, Premtim, you're welcome. I'm happy to be here with you. Very glad. Stefan, um, I would like to get your perspective on a few questions. Uh, the first one that I'm keen is, what are the current trends that you see in the robotics industry? Okay. First, before going into the trends, I think there's a big transformation overall happening right now. And the speed is fast, but it will never be this slow again. Very We've true. said that before and we say it still. I think uh, automation, robotics, they go into and transforming many industries, logistics, manufacturing industries, even going into offices and even going to um, retail. So there's a lot of things happening. And some of the major trends that we see is, uh, first of all, we have the uh, sustainability both in manufacturing, but also in consumption. That's one big driver. Another big driver is also the, um, uh, the uncertainty. Yeah. We've been witnessing for a very long time that, uh, not a very long time, but for the, for the last years, that uncertainty has become a big challenge for many customers and many companies, independently if they are small, medium, or large. And that uncertainty comes from uh, disruptions in, in what consumers and what is developed in the EV uh, electrical vehicles is one example. Yeah. Yeah. Also, our consumer, um, uh, the logistics, uh, the supply chain of how everything is being shipped, distributed, and sometimes halted in the distribution chain. So the uncertainties uh, also include macroeconomic uncertainties. We also have the terrible um, yeah, conflict uh, here and there. We have one big conflict in Europe, a war yeah. going on here. So that is a big one. And also um, the consumer behavior. You, me, everybody else, we look for more choices. There's a more variety of products. Uh, that drives uh, an e-commerce and a big change in how we, uh, we choose, how we buy, and how we receive goods. Last but not least, least in one of the trends uh, is labor and skills. Yeah. Not only the shortage in quantity of labor, but also the challenges we have to fill the gaps and the skills needed for uh, a future with automation at a higher degree of automation. So labor and skills is really a big driver and uh, it's never been this evident at, as it has been before. It's also about rewarding and also raising the level of work to making work more attractive also for younger generations to come into uh, industries such as manufacturing, but also other industries as well. And this is really something that we see that companies, small, medium, and large, and we need to tackle and work on. We did a survey last year with 1,610 companies in Americas and in Europe, and we found out a lot of those companies are planning to reshore and nearshore. And when they plan to reshore and nearshore, automation is a key part of that to achieve the goals of higher output productivity, yeah, enhancing yeah. quality, enhancing flexibility, and to be able to handle these variations in uncertainties that we have. Um, also, what I mentioned, attracting new people into the market also is very important, never to be underestimated now, because the new people look for rewarding and also nice things to do, you know, in terms of um, they are used to using digital devices. So when yeah. they go into a work environment, we need to track them with the latest and greatest technology. And I think robotics and automation and, and uh, peripheral uh, equipment for, for that, uh, for those kind of applications is much needed. In this survey I mentioned, yeah. the 1,610 companies that we surveyed in America and Europe, 74% of companies yeah. in Europe and 70% of companies in America were looking to re or near shore in the upcoming years. Also, uh, I think it's something like 70% of the companies in Europe and 62% of the companies in America were planning to invest in robotics and automation in the next three years. That doesn't sound that high, but it is very high because even though there are some mature markets when it comes to robotic utilization, mature segments, yeah, there's yeah. still lots to do. We have yeah. a lot to do. There's a big potential. Small, medium enterprises have a huge potential to adapt and to incorporate uh, automation to, to tackle these challenges and also to develop and to be competitive in the future, as do larger corporations. Yeah. Yeah. And when we, um, 
when we look forward, we, we in the industry have a very important play role to play also in how we lower the barrier for these small and medium integrators or small and medium companies to adapt more and to learn more and to facilitate for them to, to take on these uh, automation robotics to, to attract people to uh, their companies, to the industries, and also to increase their enhance the productivity, yeah. lower their cost, uh, lower their scrap and uh, increase sustainability. Take away the dull, dirty, dangerous tasks, etc. But um, yeah, I'm speaking a lot. But feel free to. Uh, well, it's it, it's it's amazing insights that you're sharing with us, uh, and uh, very good to hear uh, your perspective. Um, so um, obviously, like you mentioned, so um, there are huge uh, aspects playing a role, impacting sustainability, the microeconomics, and everything what is happening. So at ABB. Um, uh, I know that you have a big emphasis on education uh, and academia. So how are you approaching that from an uh, ABB perspective? And how important is this for you? It's extremely important. And I, I mean, it's always been important, but it's never been this important. It's going to continue being important. And the importance is also not only for us. We see that the industry, yeah. the industry and academia yeah. and policymakers need to work a lot together to, to, to see how, how we further develop how we enhance education to be able to embrace and also integrate robotics, technology, digitization, automation within the education. And uh, also here, we did a very big survey last year with 2,300 yeah. um, educators, yeah. of which 80% saw the need for introducing robotics in the education in the next 10 years. However, only one fourth of the educators today have robotics in the education programs. So there's a big need here from the push and pull, the push from us, the pull from the educators to really see how we embrace, develop further the collaboration, and also how we make it easy for those who have not started yeah. to take it on board. How is ABB responding to this? Well, in many different ways. But first of all, we're bridging the gap. And we're tying relations and partnerships with other ecosystem uh, partners to, to address this issue in the industry and the academia. We're also building relations and working closely with educators in different types of schools. It can be high schools, vocational schools, primary schools, universities, colleges, yeah, R&D yeah. institutions. And then we offer a broad range of offerings in terms of uh, software, robot student that has been around since the middle of the 90s. State of the art, leading in the market when it comes to how you use software to simulate and program before, during, and after uh, robotic installations. And also, we just launched one month ago a very interesting education package yeah. that is not only the physical hardware, it's also the software, but also ready and prepared videos and tutorials, ready and prepared um, exams and certifications also for the educators as for the uh, students that they can use later on when applying for jobs. I had the opportunity uh, to actually see that at your booth and it's very fascinating and uh, very inspiring, Great. so really it is really, concept. and it's very intuitive. Yeah? Yes, precisely. Stefan, um, I want to thank you for your time and for sharing all those insights. Really good to uh, have your uh, perspective on this. Thank you so much for your time. Ah, and thanks enjoy a lot. The fair. It was my pleasure. Thank yeah. you so much.